Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a suspension car. Here I was going to test the ones I've already made. This one has the suspension on the top. This one over here has the same suspension on the bottom. There's a little bit of difference between the two, primarily because this, this uh, counterweight is lower on the one that has a suspension on the bottom than it is on the one that has it on the top. I had to do that just to get it out of the way. So. Hero is going to jump into these things and try to crash them while I am showing you guys how to build. So he's going to be my tester and uh, we're going to see how that goes along with seeing how this goes. So first I'm just going to drop a gold block out there. I'm going to go to uh, 14 long. Let's see here. Let's go to 14. I like using even numbers for this stuff because it just kind of makes the rest of the process go more smoothly. I'm just going to grab some wheels and put them on there. I'm going to make this vehicle so that it works with WASD or drives normally for um, touchscreen users. So we're going to use a regular driver's seat. We're going to use front wheels and back wheels instead of all front wheels, which is my typical. I'm going to grab a hold of these guys and move them out 0.25 just to just to get them away from the core of the vehicle and that will allow me to attach suspension to them. So I'm going to build it from the top first and then I might show you how to flip it around but essentially it's uh, to flip it around it's basically the same the same thing. Uh, you just clone it and rotate it and then flip it upside down and then you're there. So I'm going to use adjustment of 0.75, and that's going to put this 0.5 wide block right in the center of those. And I'm basically just going to do one of these, and then I'm going to clone it and flip it around and put it on the opposite side, and then that's going to be the end of the suspension. So this piece is going to be the solid piece that uh, everything is referenced to. I'm going to bring that to uh, 0.05. We're going to go up. Let's go. I'm just kind of winging this kind of stuff. I mean, I've, I've made these other ones and I could copy them exactly, but it's really not an exact science as much as it is just kind of knowing what to do if something goes wrong, which you gain as you do it. All right. So I'm going to throw a couple of hinges on here. When I'm there, I'm going to go down like three, I guess, one there, that looks about right. I'm um, going to make this block a little wider, 0.5, so now, now this block is three by 0.5 thick, it's eight high, and you can see here that it clears the, uh, the back wheels there, so that's what we want it to do. Uh, let's see, we need more gold. And you know, I can clone some of this stuff too. In fact, I think I will. So here I'm going to, so this was my original dimensions right there. I'm going to use 0.5 and I'm going to uh, do this so that I get a little bit more on the outside edge of the hinge because I'm going to eventually have to center it up with, with this, this rod right here, so we'll, uh, we'll work our way over there by doing this. So we can bring these things out, and then we're going to, we're going to bring another rod out to connect to it in just a little bit. And I'm going to go out 10 on each side. Boy, Hero is just going nuts in the background with that thing. It looks like the suspension is holding together pretty nicely so far. Uh, so I'm going to grab these hinges and clone them. I'm just going to pull them out to the end of that travel. Pull these out. Clone, of course. 
And then I'm going to go into an adjustment of 0.05. So pretty small adjustment. And I'm just going to pull these rods into the hinge just a hair. And that way they will always be connected and I don't ever have to worry about them falling apart. Okay, now I'm going to grab those two and clone them down. There we go. Now I'm going to place some gold on each one of those and we're going to use 0.75 again. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to scaling at 0.75. Hmm, just realized I need to flip those hinges around. Sometimes mistakes happen. I'm going to grab this and that one and these two. So I've only got the hinges now. I'm going to just grab them and just rotate them right around there. And then it looks like I'm going to have to move them just a little bit. Let's go 0.5. Hmm, let's not go 0.5, let's go 0.25. Better. Okay, now I'm going to put some gold on there. Use 0.75 adjustment. So there is a there is an advantage to keeping the weight down on this stuff because we're going to put a counterweight underneath it. So the less weight you have on top, the better. So I'm doing these so that they can go over and grab onto this, this block right here. Okay, and that doesn't have to be, uh, this doesn't have to be connected like in a pretty way. It just has to interfere so it sticks good. And all this stuff's going to be invisible, collision off, so it's not really going to matter aesthetically at all. All right, um, there we go. So essentially this piece is going to be fixed to the, to the main chassis. These guys are going to allow some bounce to happen. Uh, they're going to transfer that through these rods here into the wheels, and that's our suspension. Um, additionally, we need to add the servos. So I need to grab a couple of those, rotate them around, and they can they can pretty much go anywhere here. I think I, I usually put them kind of right in the, right between the um, the hinges there, and then we grab some more hinges and we stick them on those guys. And then one more piece of gold should round out the suspension. Okay. I'm going to adjust that in by 0 0.05 with a 205 measurement there. 0.75 for this adjustment and that one. And then I'm going to bring this guy over. It looks like I'm right there on that edge anyway. 0 0.05, move it in, okay. All right, sweet. Now, I'm going to grab all of this stuff. Make sure I have all the suspension pieces. I don't need the wheels. Okay, I'm gonna clone that. Maybe if I keep it all selected long enough. Okay, all selected, good. I'm going to clone it by one, just for now. Move it back here. Let's see, now I need to rotate it around. And now I'll fine tune the moving. It's getting pretty close. I'm looking at the uh, center of these these wheel blocks here to see when I'm when I'm right on the center. I think I need to go to 0.25, and that right there will be centered. Okay, awesome. Now we need to add the chair. If I can remember where these things were, that'd be great. 
Okay, there's our seat, and we're going to have to unanchor a bunch of stuff. Oh no, everything anchored to that chair. That's okay, whatever. Alright, now couple more things to clean up here that's just messy it wouldn't really make any difference because this is my build and this this car here's my build and I'm building with heroes blocks right now so I'm not really even sure that these bindings are legit but they sure wouldn't be after you reloaded okay so because I'm not doing any custom bindings I should just be able to uh, do these like normal Okay, and then I need to put the counterweight on it. I'm going to start right in the middle of the chair there. I'm going to just go to scale. I'm going to scale to one, and we're just going to pull this thing down. And this one just pulls down into the body of it like that. And then we're just going to put a big block of titanium on here. So we're nearing the end of this, and I want to take a peek over at Hero to see how he's doing. Well, he is still crashing the tar out of that thing. Oh my gosh. He's just beating it to death. And it looks like it's still holding up just fine. I'm not seeing any tangled pieces on the uh, suspension or anything. So that's a good sign. Hopefully what we're building here will do you guys some good. It's sure fun to play with. I see a lot of people putting these, uh, putting these masts out here, laying them down like that and using that as kind of a reference for how their vehicle performs. It's important to do um, testing on your vehicles to understand how they operate and understand if you're making changes that are better or worse than the last change you made. Okay, now, so I wrote down some of these numbers the other day and this counter right here is 36 blocks. You can see on my, on my counter over here. Um, the one that Hero is driving right now has a counterweight of 88 blocks. So obviously I've done something just a little bit different. Um, I'm going to try to equalize that just a little bit by cloning this. So I'm just going to clone it. And then I'm going to just change its size just a little bit so I can grab them independent of each other. So there's basically, you know, one inside of each other. There's, uh, there's um, counterweights that are going to stick out just a little bit. There we go. So that one sticks out on top and bottom. This one sticks out on the sides. And now we have an overall 81. So that's, that's pretty close to the other one. Um, all right, cool. Let me, let me see here. I'm going to adjust our wheel torque. We're going to go up to, let's start at the medium level. I'm going to leave the wheel speed at 40 and see how that goes. And just so you guys know, these, these uh, servos here don't have to be binded to the chair at all. Just unbind them from everything. And then we need to collision off the stuff that's on the bottom here. And then we're going to go ahead and collision off. Actually, in this situation, you can just grab everything. And then just unselect the things you don't want to collision off because it's actually a lot easier. <laughs> There's hardly anything that needs collision. In fact, the wheels themselves, that's it. And so you just turn collision off on everything except for the wheels themselves. And let me give Hero the, uh, the high sign to save this. Sorry, new keyboard. I fumble a lot when I type now. Okay, so he's going to find a save slot, and hopefully he'll let me know when he's ready to roll. And he can probably uh, reload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Watch for the reload. Excellent. Thank you, Hero. Okay, now I can't get in his seat because I turned collision off. Really? Is that a thing? There we go. Okay. Hero. 
Nero probably wants to test his new vehicle. I'll let him. Shoot. Well, that thing decided it wanted to take a trip by itself. There it goes. Ooh, it's doing good, though. Look at that. I wonder if it'll come back. <laughs> You'll probably end up at the treasure. <laughs> ah! Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. Ah! Okay. Well, don't tangle them up on each other. That's there's the there's the thing. Well, that other vehicle's just having a blast out there. Look at that thing go. <laughs> it's trying to climb the walls. All right, that is uh, that's doing pretty good. I don't see it getting tangled up yet. He's not stuck yet. He's going around. It's bouncing like crazy. It's doing its thing. It's about like this one. So, if you guys want to build that, uh, you can you can do the, the thing where you flip the entire suspension upside down. You might have to move your protection block down just a little bit to get it out of the way. But you can see the difference here when they're sitting side by side. There's probably a three stud difference between the height of this block and the height of that block. And what that does, the, the difference is when you start going back and forth. Oh, oh good. That is good to hear, Hero. So when you're going back and forth like this, you can see that it, it teeters a little bit more. Uh, if you get on one of those other ones, it doesn't teeter anywhere near that much. Uh, so, you know, you can kind of fine-tune a little bit. Anyway, I think that's mission accomplished. Hero has a suspension vehicle, and, and we both have some that are very close to each other, so we can play together on, uh, on little tracks and stuff that we can make now. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like the video. Subscribe to Hero Plays Roblox. Thank you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.